Hello everyone, hopefully you're doing well. We'll continue with our lesson, chapter 12, lesson 4, electricity. So as you know, in our previous video, we talked about electricity, uh, the current electricity, how it flows, and the static electricity. So here we're going to talk about electric current. Electric current is the flow of electricity through a conductor. So uh, we use a circuit which is formed when electric current passes through an unbroken path of conductors. We'll take an example of this flashlight and we're going to see a circuit that is built up over here. Uh, these uh, path of circuit consist of wires, the wires inside. Uh, these circuits, uh, circuits also have a device that move uh, electrons along the path. These devices are called the voltage sources such as this battery they increase the volt of electrons in the circuit and this is as a battery as a voltage uh, source this battery so when a switch now switch you know mostly uh, these flashlight of switches which uh, for example here you can see that switch now this is an incomplete circuit wire here because you see the switch is open and the, the voltage is not passing right here the switch is closed as a complete circuit a closed switch so the bat the voltage storage the battery is applying the electrons to move right and moving in the circuit and uh, due to this the electrons move due to the voltage that is given by the battery electrons move and protons feel a force in the opposite direction However, protons are not move uh, free to move so electricity does not flow in the same way through every part of a circuit uh, an object uh, it is an uh, electrical circuit that resists the flow of uh, electrons is called a resistor so here this bulb works as resistor resistor uh, uh, is something that uh, resists the flow of electrons makes it slower Resistance is measured in units called the ohms. Uh, electrons lose energy when moving through a resistor, so the energy can be transformed into heat or light. So again, this bulb is an example of resistor. Now, although electric current in a circuit travels fast, almost uh, as a speed of light, uh, you know, light is the fastest thing to travel in the universe that we know. Uh, electrons, however, on the other side, just travel uh, a few millimeters per second, and that is because electrons they only need uh, to move far enough to push another electron. There are many electrons in a fire, so this one has to just move a little bit, a few millimeter, to move to push away this electron, and that electron then pushes another, and so on. So this keeps on going. So the amount of electric charge moving in a circuit is measured in units called amps or amperes uh, there are about six billion billion electrons moving every second in one amp of current so even currents as small as 0.05 amps can seriously harm you that's why they say do not touch the bare electric wires because that shock can even uh, harm you may cause damage to you so coming to some questions in this lesson uh, you can see here the questions what is the difference between a conductor and a resistor and why is it necessary to have a conductor in an electric current I want you to focus on the lesson and uh, answer these questions privately to my whatsapp number uh, these two questions they are related to today's lesson quite easy answers so I will be waiting for your answers privately on my whatsapp that was the lesson for today thank you for watching and hopefully uh, it helps any question please feel free to ask